welcome to the ONTV Kitchen. I'm Ian Locke, Executive Director here at ONTV, and we've uh, brought back our cooking series again this year. And um, today I'm going to make possibly the easiest pasta, re pasta recipe you've ever heard of. It's pasta carbonara. Now it's a little different than most uh, pasta dishes because there is no red sauce. So uh, the main ingredients we're going to be using today and the easy prep, about 17 minutes from start to finish. Um, the thing that takes the longest is actually boiling the water. And I skipped ahead a little bit to try to get, uh, you know, moved along here in this uh, process here because sometimes it takes a while to get the pasta going. Okay, so what are our ingredients for today? We have garlic, right? You can get the pre-minced uh, little guy or you can get the big guy. I like my garlic, so I'm going to use a lot of this. I have my one pound box of spaghetti. I have my Parmesan cheese. I have some bacon pre-cooked. If you want to make your own, you can and uh, crumble it up. That works too. Parsley flake for, uh, for color. We've got some pepper, just old ground black pepper, and three eggs. A one cup measuring uh, cup, a half cup measuring cup, a large mixing bowl, and a medium size, where is it? <laughs> I'm looking at the medium sized mixing bowl for uh, our uh, sauce mixture. Now the interesting part about this dish, um, as my pasta is getting underway, is I need to move pretty quickly with this. Um, the noodles, you don't want to overcook them, you want to keep them al dente. Um, so they have some sort of, uh, you know, texture to them, you don't want to overcook them. So I'm going to get my, while the pasta is going, I'm going to get my uh, egg mixture, my sauce going. So I'm just going to break my three eggs. Do that real quick. And easy peasy. Of course, you don't want any shells. That would be kind of uh, not good. All right, there's my, and there's a shell. Let me get that out of there. Okay, there's that. Clean off the hands a little bit. Now I just need to grab my Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna blend this up a little bit, break up the yolks. I'm going, usually I use a whisk to do this, but I didn't bring one, I forgot it. So I'm using a standard old fork. Okay, one cup of Parmesan cheese. Um, come on. Oops, making a mess over here. All right, so we'll get that in there. I'll loosen this up. Again, the cool thing about this is it's it's eyeballing it, right? It's nothing crazy. If you don't have the right things in here, you're not going to ruin the dish. All right, so I'm going to mix up my sauce real quick. And check my noodles. Again, we don't want to overcook them. Consistency of this is going to be very thick. So as our pasta cooks, we're going to want to grab about a, a half a cup of the pasta water to kind of loosen this up. Okay, as we do that, I'm gonna throw in, now you're probably going, raw egg, what are you doing? I say, yes, I'm doing raw egg. About a uh, teaspoon of pepper. I just do it to make it about just colored so you can actually see the pepper kind of disperse throughout there. But yes, raw egg, how are we cooking the raw egg? Well, the raw egg actually will be cooked by the heat of the pasta when we pull it off the stove after we drain it. Okay, so that is my, that's actually my sauce mixture. I'm going to come over here and check on my pasta, see how it is doing. And I'm going to grab one. I just eat it. Yep, a little bit ways to go. Still crunchy on the inside. I'll make sure, I, again, I don't want to overcook my pasta. So I come back to my uh, sauce. I'm going to add a little bit more pepper in there. And I don't know if we can see this. This is the hard part. So I do a lot of cooking. Once you make this a couple times, you kind of, you do it by eyeball. And I do a lot of eyeball. And so the pepper is just kind of in there. It's not real overpowering, but it adds enough to the flavor of it that you, you notice it. But it's, it's, and if you don't have it in there, it tastes a little bit different. So Parmesan, three eggs, cup of Parmesan, three eggs. Now I'm gonna get my garlic ready for my mixing bowl. So we have to move quickly once the pasta is done cooking to transfer the pasta from our colander after we drain it into our mixing bowl. All right, so I'm gonna prep my mixing bowl with uh, 
uh, three cloves of uh, you know three cloves of garlic. So I get the get the equivalent for my one teaspoon here. Throw my garlic in there, and that should be enough. Okay, I like garlic, so I sorry I lean heavy on my garlic a little bit. I dig it. So that's all ready to go and prepped. Let me grab my half a cup of pasta water. So if you notice how thick the uh, egg mixture is, the sauce. So we're gonna use that pasta water to kind of just dilute it down a little bit, loosen it up a bit. You don't wanna dump the whole half cup in there. Um, it's more of an eyeball again. And what we might make it do is just have it loose enough that it covers the pasta evenly, okay? So let me head back over here, check on my pasta, see where we're at. And the cool thing is, is when you do this, it's about 17 minutes from start to finish. And that's from starting to boil your water, get your pasta ready to go. Give me a noodle. Mmm, very close. I'll grab another one. It doesn't help that we're cooking this about lunchtime here at the studio, so. <laughs> okay, almost ready. Okay, so this is the little dance we have to do. Um, egg mixture is done. I have my bacon ready to go, my parsley flake ready to go. Really, the dance of trying to get this done quickly is again, make sure the pasta doesn't overcook. It has to have some uh, stiffness to it, but not too crazy, a little al dente. And then transferring it from the pot to the colander, draining it, and then um, getting it into the mixing bowl. Uh, to toss and get everything covered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my um, pasta water now, just in case I forget. And I usually forget this part, so I made a note, don't forget the pasta water to dilute the egg mixture. So I'm just gonna set it there, check on my pasta again. Now we're just, it's a waiting game with the pasta to make sure that it's ready to go. Again, it's spaghetti, one pound. One box of spaghetti. I've never used any other. Um, it works best with, you know, like maybe a, uh, you know, a linguine or something would work, some, a little thicker noodle. All right, those are good. Those are ready to go. All right, so here we go. I've got my garlic here. Let me do this. I think I eyeball a little bit too much garlic in there. I don't want to blow everybody away here in the studio after we eat this thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to drain my, drain my pasta. have my colander here in the sink. Probably won't be able to see it. I'll move real quick. So this is where we got to transfer. So I'm just going to carefully pour my pasta in. Get in there. I got most of it out. Very good. I'm going to shake it. Still hot, 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 right? I'm gonna come back here to my big mixing bowl and I'm gonna dump it in. Colander back in the sink. And now basically I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna toss this and turn it and mix it in with the garlic. Okay. Good thing we're all friends here at Owen TV because after eating this dish, we probably won't be. <laughs> the garlic's pretty, uh, pretty good in here. Okay, there's that now. This is the, the big part. This is where I'm gonna put a little bit of the water in there. Just a little bit, just a dash. Loosen it up a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. And if you put too much water in, you find it's not coating it right. Um, you can also, you put too much in and it's too runny. You can also put more Parmesan cheese onto the dish or into the noodles to uh, thicken it up again, all right? So this is it. I am just mixing this up. I gotta get it covered evenly. Just tossing this around. Smells good. And the cool thing about this, it's great in the summer to do. It's very quick. Um, I always like uh, quick meals that don't take a lot, a lot to uh, put together, um, but feed you up and give you a nice hearty uh, full belly, right? So here's... Uh, Here's all mixed up, nice and gooey with my parm and my eggs. Now I'm going to take my bacon, rip open my bacon, and I am going to dump it in. Now I think I had about a quarter cup of bacon on the re uh, recipe, 
that you should see on your screen. Uh, use as much if you like. If you want to use turkey bacon, go ahead. I use the real thing. I use it by pre, pre-cut, pre-cubed. This is a two and a half ounce bag. Um, do what you want, right? Um, I usually just do the whole bag because I, I like bacon. So I'm going to turn this into that, uh, turn this together, mix it all up, combine it. Try to get it 50-50. Everything's all mixed in evenly. Again, I just keep turning this and turning this and turning this, making sure it's coated. Pretty easy. All right, and the cool thing too is, yeah, the, the protein in this is really the eggs and the bacon. So right now I can, I can slow down a little bit because the egg and uh, pasta are combined and the eggs in there cooking away with the heat of that pasta. I know the first time I ever saw this on the menu, it said, yeah, the sauce is an egg mixture. And you're going, that doesn't sound too good. And then you find out the science of it, of how it works and how it cooks. Uh, and I ordered it at a restaurant once and I had it for the first time. And you're a little nervous. You're going, mm, I don't know about this. And I ate it, I go, okay, you win. It's awesome. It is killer. It is fantastic and tasty. Just turn the oven on or the stove off for safety's sake. But yeah, it's killer. And the other thing you can do is, I have an air fryer, which um, I really like using to cook my uh, like chicken breast in and you know a variety of other meat uh, for my meals. Uh, it's quick, you can throw in frozen uh, chicken breast, you can have thawed chicken breast and it cooks really quickly. So, or you can bake them in the oven or throw them on the grill if you want in the summertime or if you have your grill going 24, se uh, you know, seasonally. And you can add chicken to this or grilled shrimp. And then you have an extra layer of protein that you can add to it. Um, and it fills you up, it really does. So if you combine this with a, um, like a side salad or we usually get bell peppers and cut them up or steam some broccoli and you can mix that in too. Uh, that works, uh, there are no rules. The one thing is the main element is done. It's done, it's bacon, uh, spaghetti, it is, eggs parmesan cheese okay so i'm looking at mine now as it's starting to cool a little bit it's still hot in there and it's cooking that egg i think we're looking pretty good i think i guessed right on the the pasta water now i didn't use that much i just had the half a cup and I, I maybe used a quarter of it maybe i don't know if you guys can see that just a little bit off the top um i think i was a little light on the parmesan cheese with the egg but again it's it's really up to you i've made it once where i forgot to put the pasta water in like i said and when i put the egg mixture in the sauce it was just clumping everything together and then i just dabbled a little bit of water as i was mixing um that works too but here we go and then what do we have here i've got my little parsley flake a lot of it's just for decoration right i just kind of shake it on there get a little green some, you can taste a little bit and I'm not measuring this I just do it to eyeball I'm sorry uh, one teaspoon I think parsley flake I think that's what I put down again this is so easy it doesn't really matter I mix it up it's all blended um, this uh, feeds four four people and it'll fill you up it's even good cold um, I like eating leftovers cold uh, but you can heat it up and it, it does retain its uh, uh, taste and all that good stuff. It doesn't fall apart. Sometimes you you put a, a pasta dish in the, the the fridge overnight after going to you know your favorite restaurant or whatever, and it just doesn't hold up. It just turns into this big blob of goo. Uh, this doesn't do that. It, the, with the Parmesan cheese and all that good stuff in there, it uh, it holds together nicely. And uh, yeah, you can eat it for lunch the next day or whatever. But again, this is nice and light. Um, Nothing too crazy. I like doing this in the summertime, making this up in the summertime when I know I have some chicken breasts on the grill and just throw it together real quick. I get home from work and um, just start making pasta carbonara. Again, I'm not sure what the running time on this is, but as you can see, it didn't take too long to make this. Um, I usually put down 17 minutes on my timer um, to remind me to do certain things and not forget to take off the pasta off the, um, off the heat. I don't overcook my uh, my noodles and then I just grab my little serving bowl now I don't know how you guys are at your house but I'm pretty laid back on serving 
a lot of times uh, we have a fast moving household. We have a teenager at home, a high school kid who's busy with, uh, my son's busy with uh, work and practice and track and cross country and all that good stuff. So you gotta get stuff going quick. We just dish this stuff right out of the mixing bowl. You can do that, okay? But today, I'm, since it's a TV show, I'm going to put it in the actual mixing bowl we have because it actually looks kind of cool. So here we go, get it out of the mixing bowl. Oh, look at the bacon. Doesn't bacon go with anything? I'm pretty sure. Does it go with cake? I don't know. I, I did see a bacon donut once. That kind of frightened me. But here you go. Here's the, the dish. Let me get the big mixing bowl out of the way. Now hold this up uh, for camera two. See? Nice and good. Just pass the dish. Here we go. Now I put, if I had chicken breasts, I usually cut them up and just layer on top. Looks good. And say, you know, dig in everybody and that's about it again what are the ingredients of this a pound of bo uh, box of spaghetti what did this run me um you know with the cost of food these days and all that uh inflation problem we have with our food these days what does it cost for a box of spaghetti this one cost me at kroger obviously a little plug for kroger uh this cost me i think a dollar sixty uh, they used to be 99 cents, inflation. So $1.60, uh, the garlic I've had for a while. Um, so it's probably the best investment I've made because I've had it for a couple of months. Uh, but anyway, you can get the little guys. These cost maybe three, three and a half, uh, but you use a little bit, right? Parmesan cheese, you know, this is about $2.50, $3. Everybody's got pepper in their home. And parsley flake, like I said, it can be skipped. You don't need it, but I have it. And these are about two and a quarter and the bacon the bacon's kind of a pricey one three bucks three and a half so mixing it all together we're talking you know maybe twenty dollars maybe 25 bucks at the high end for uh feeding uh your family of four uh, with pasta of course and that's the main dish of course you can get a salad and you get your veggies and all that kind of stuff um, but the cost of this is very very low and you can see it was easy to make i'm done am i filling for time maybe uh but yeah check it out if you if uh the egg isn't real powerful some people don't like eggs in their uh their food but it's not powerful at all it's an interesting combination the bacon helps and the parmesan too and what i'm gonna do is what i usually do i'm gonna kind of just dress it up on the top make it look fun i like my parmesan cheese so i'll take a peek i don't know if that, you get that but see all done. Oh, nice and heavy pasta. So that's it uh, for this edition, pasta carbonara. Easy to do, inexpensive. And the first time I ever had this, like I mentioned earlier in the segment, um, at an Italian restaurant, I think they charged me $18 for my dish or for my dinner. And like I said, I can make for four people uh, for what the cost is to buy this at a restaurant. So it's always better to cook at home if you can. This is a nice and easy one. Maybe if you want to get into Italian cooking, this is a good starter. Okay, that's it for this segment. Thank you for turning in. Pasta Carbonara, give it a, give it a shout, give it a try, and we'll see you next time.